good movie. It's not a movie. I was going to say it's a movie. Not a movie. This is a book. Learn your platforms. Jan. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a, another unhaul video. I have a total of nine books this time that I'm sending back off to the thrift store. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> The first book that I have is The Betrayal of Natalie Hargrove, and this is by Lauren Kate. I had this book on my shelf for like a million trillion years. This actually wasn't that bad of a book. It was really entertaining, but the main character got on my nerves after a while. She was like super whiny and annoying and kept talking about how like she needed her boyfriend to desire her or she was like gonna die. And it just got to the point where I was like, shut up before I slap you in the face. So I don't need it on my shelf, so it is going Back to the thrift store. The next book that I have to bring back to the thrift store is Scored by Lauren McLaughlin and I think I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. It wasn't a bad book but like I'm never gonna reread it. I don't have a reason to have it on my shelf. The concept was cool but like I don't want it so someone else can read it. The next book is Store Bought Baby by Sandra Belton. I'm pretty sure I got this from the dollar store so like it's not really that much of a loss to me but I gave this a one out of five stars. It was really boring and stupid and it was literally just about this girl whose brother dies and her brother was adopted. She decides that she's gonna find her brother's biological parents. Why? I don't know. It was stupid so nothing happened in this book and I hated it so like bye. That was a loud bang. The next book is Surrender by Sonia Hartnett and I actually did like this book it messes with your head and you literally have no idea what's going on half the time i think i gave it a three out of five stars but i literally am never gonna read this again i'm never gonna pick it up again because half the time i had no idea what's going on so like do i want to go through that again no but i do really like the cover i think it's pretty so i'm kind of sad i'm getting rid of it but like need to make room for more books right fellow book tubers slash book readers you know what i'm saying the next book i'm getting rid of is don't die my love by Laureline McDaniel and this was literally just like a bad lifetime movie. I'm pretty sure it was a lifetime movie but it's about this guy named Luke who gets like a diagnosis for some medical thing that I'm not going to give it away but like it's kind of obvious if you think about it and his high school girlfriend decides that she's going to stick by him because she loves him and it was just boring. I think I gave it a 2 out of 5 or 2.5. Honestly, I don't remember because it was boring. The next book that I'm sending to the thrift store is No Use for a Name by Penelope Ray, and I just don't want this on my shelf because I'm never going to reread it. It wasn't a bad book, it just wasn't for me. It's a coming-of-age story. I don't really like coming-of-age stories, so it's going to the thrift store, so hopefully someone can enjoy it more than I did. The next book is Station Fossan, and this is by D. Garretston. I did like this book. I think I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. It was entertaining at the time, but like I'm never going to reread it again, so I need to make room for more books that I don't need. Yeah. The next book is London Calling by Edward Bloor. I gave this a 1 out of 5 stars. It was super boring. I hated it. It's about the London Blitz in World War II, and it's full of history. So like if you like history, maybe it'll be for you, but your girl ain't into history, and it's also like super religious based, and I am not religious in any way, so it was all just lost on me, and I did not like it. So, do for silly goats. That just hit me, and it really hurt. And then the final book that I'm sending back to the thrift store is called The Haven, and it is by Carol Lynch Williams. I think I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars. It might have been a 1 out of five stars honestly cannot remember but nothing really happened in the book it was really boring and I just didn't connect to any of the characters and I don't need it on my shelf so it's going to the thrift store as well all right guys so that was my quick unhaul video there's nine books which is more than I usually do I'm pretty sure but I'm proud of myself because slowly getting through our shelves let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you in my next video goodbye